I think a lot of people are really shy and uh, a better way to meet people is kind of not face to face but online. And so by taking away that physical interaction, it's easier for people to uh, either break the ice or talk to other people. So uh, on the internet, it's a lot easier to do that than in real life, so I think that's why. I think it's a possibility that people get so busy within their own lives that they just feel like they've lost that, that love life and they don't have time for that. And so they just feel that the best way to get the best connection is through messaging somebody, like replying to an email or something like that. I think sometimes, like, well, people don't, there's not as much community anymore. You can't just, like, head over to your neighbor's house and be like, hey, you know, you can't, um, or people aren't as friendly as they used to be and they're not as connected. Um, and so they use, you know, websites and, you know, internet to find um, people because they don't have that in their life, I think. Because they feel frustrated that the people that they already know aren't the people that are right for them. And they feel like if they reach out for more people that there's a better chance of finding someone that's right for them. I feel like you've already, you've probably already found the person that's right for you. You just need to commit to that person. You need to realize that that person is there for you and not try to search for something that's easier. It's easier probably to talk to people and break the ice um, just because you're not face to face. Um, and you could probably meet a more variety of people online, uh, especially if you're in a, a place that's like the socioeconomics or the culture or uh, just the personality is, is a lot similar. Um, it's easier to kind of branch off from that online. Some disadvantages are you never really know who you're talking to, of course, um, and so you can get into a lot of trouble with that. It can help to connect you to people that are single and might have some similar interests. Um, the disadvantages is that it's not always safe and it's hard to know someone from what they put forth online. Um, you know, as a woman, um, I do have like intuitions about people um, when I meet them, you know, about whether it's someone I can trust and you can't do that online. Some benefits, um, it passes the time. Some disadvantages, it, I don't feel like it's helpful in any situation for any party. It doesn't benefit anyone in the end. It just passes the time. I've never done it, but I guess some do's would be just be yourself, try to be honest, um, because you don't want to disappoint another person online, I guess. Um, so yeah, just be yourself, be honest, don't try to catfish anybody. Um, be yourself, um, and some don'ts would, I guess, just be the opposite. Don't try to make yourself something that you're not. Uh, don't try to impersonate anybody else. Um, and don't be creepy. <laughs> Do go in with an open mind. I mean, like, I know what I'm saying is probably not 100% true, so, like, go ahead and have a fun with it. And don't be a, don't be a sour puss. Don't be a sour puss. Have fun with it.